Hello there. <coughs> Tonight we've come out. Just look at this. Beautiful poppies. There's some beautiful purpley blue flowers in here that I don't know what they are, but they look absolutely gorgeous. And I'm hoping to get a couple of shots with these purple flowers against a really blurred red background. It looks fantastic. I'm absolutely loving the dark moody sky. I was hoping for a sunset, but I think I'm going to take this dark sky instead. It looks fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So join me in a minute and we're going to try and get some beautiful poppy photos and these beautiful purple flowers. Could they be Cecilia? Don't know. I'm not sure. We haven't got Betty tonight. She's not feeling very well, so she's been ill for the last few weeks. So I've given her a night off and she's in bed sulking because she wanted to come out and I haven't let her but anyway join me in a minute and we're going to get some of these beautiful flowers they look gorgeous try and find the poppies aren't quite ready yet there's there's loads more that haven't opened that have opened so probably I'm still a week or two away from peaking but I'm going to try and get literally to the corner of this field where we are just a little bit higher so we can look across the, the field of red it looks beautiful I'm loving these beautiful purple flowers as well I've got to try and get some photos of these against the red background if I can. Looks looks just tremendous. I think I'm just going to head over to my left now and try and line something up. Absolutely loving this. These look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You can see where people have already been and traipsing through the fields. There's little runs everywhere so I'll try and follow them rather than making new tracks. I really hate destroying flowers and um, whether it be bluebells, poppies or whatever, wild well, garlic. Too many people just traipse through and just destroy them all and I, I hate it, I really hate it. So I'm going to try and be as gentle as I can here and I am going to get some beautiful photos. So I'm going to start off with some of these blue flowers, they, that purple they are, um, they look absolutely beautiful, let me just grab one for you, just look at that, so if it's focusing on that, absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to try and just get a single one of these, I've, I've put on the 70 to 200 mil lens now, and I'm hoping to um, just get a really blurred red background so let me just set the camera up and I'll talk you through the back of the screen so for this shot I am isolating just this center let me throw down to the left another one up to the top right but for now I'm going to try as you can see it is really windy so I'm having to wait for the wind to die but I am literally going to focus just on this center flower there and as the wind dies down and it stays still we will get a quick shot just like that I'm going to try and move around a bit because I haven't got enough poppies in the background for me here there's one underneath as you can see down there but I haven't got enough a little bit higher up so 
I am going to try and just move around and try and isolate one with more red behind. I want more red in the image behind. While it's getting a little bit quiet and still, let's get another shot. I'll drop this on for you right now to have a look at. Um, drop me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I think it looks beautiful here. Let me just lift the camera up. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. through fields and if the GoPro is going to pick it up there's a couple walking straight through the centre of the field absolutely unbelievable can you believe him why would you want to do something like that it looks like the crop in the field is peas um, there's large little pods of peas in so I'm, I'm presuming they're peas uh, yeah I can't believe these people straight through the centre of the field unreal absolutely unreal anyway what did you think of that shot did you like it I'm now going to move just a little bit farther forward and see if I can get something with more red in the background I'm absolutely loving this the sky's gone very dark again and there's a big black cloud coming straight towards me now so I'm hoping I can miss the rain fingers crossed eh Let's, uh, let's go find someone else so <clears throat> I just took a few more photos with the 70 to 200 mil and just isolated some of these little blue flowers, purple flowers I think that was a celiac I'm not sure really not sure but uh, beautiful anyway the crop underneath is peas so I would imagine they've planted these wildflowers in as well because they're all nitrifying for the soil which boosts the pea production so that's probably why they're all in here um, the pigeons are having a field time there is a bird scare going off so probably just try and scare the pigeons which doesn't seem to be happening I'll tell you what there's going to be some fat pigeons over here there really is I've now put back on the 24 to 70 and mm. I will use these purple flowers as a, a foreground leading out to the poppies as I say the poppies aren't ready yet there are way more unopened buds than there are open so I think another week and these will be absolutely just stunning stunning they look beautiful now but I do think another week's time maybe two even I think they'll go on all the way through June these to be honest they do look just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I, uh, I'm going to try and set something up now. Let me just turn the camera around a little bit just to show you. I'm going to do a vertical and I'm going to just line up this little purple flower in the foreground leading off through the poppy field. There's beautiful white daisies in here as well. Oh, it's just absolutely it's just stunning absolutely stunning in here today i'm loving it i'm glad i found this field it does look just beautiful i'm the only person here so i'm taking it that no one else well, not many people know about it otherwise there'd be droves of photographers so yeah um i'll talk you through the back of the camera with this shot and i'll show you the shot as well let me just talk you through the camera so for this I am actually going to do a focus stack um, simply because these purple flowers are just so close to the back of the camera so I'm going to focus on this purple flower here the bang then was a bird scarer going off I don't think that took then there and then I'm going to just focus anywhere farther on in the field just to get the depth of field there settings for this I'm shooting as f16 because I want a good depth of field 
and ISO 400 just to up my shutter speed which is still only a fifth of, 15th of a second so I may even have to come a little bit higher with the ISO but it looks beautiful this does again I'll drop the shot on for you right now For the uh, 24 to 70. I'm now going to do a horizontal of this same shot as the vertical. Um, I'll drop this one on at the end of the video for you. But I'm then going to uh, just concentrate and get a few poppies I think. Just, just close-ups of poppies. And I'll call it a night after that. Because we are losing light. And with the breeze I'm having to push the ISO so high now. Um, currently on 800 ISO, which I don't really want to be at, um, but to get a static photo you've got to do it. Don't be scared to up your ISO to get a slightly faster shutter speed. Um, it is easily done. So yeah, I'll take this and I'll talk you through a couple of poppy shots and how I like to take poppies. So when shooting poppies, I do like to try and get a single poppy if I can. Looking straight on at a wide open aperture of something like 2.8 if you've got a 2.8 lens. I also like to get looking up, if you've got a blue sky, poppies look fantastic. Looking from underneath the poppy to the sky, you've got the red against the sky, it looks, just looks beautiful, the red against the blue. Um, absolutely fantastic um, or just get individual little shots and they all look just tremendous um, I think I'm gonna have a move around and see what I can find a little bit farther on um, as I say they're not quite ready yet so not really sure If I'm going to get anything that special. You got a dog. Big black lab, lovely. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find anything that special at the moment because they're not, there's not enough open to get a clump. I like to try and get clumps of them as well. Um, But it does look, I keep saying it's beautiful, it is just stunning here, absolutely stunning. So yeah, join me in a second and I'm going to try and have me a little walk around the edge of the field. I'm not going to come through the field, I'm going to walk around the edge and uh, just see what I can see if there's anything different. I'm loving this, absolutely loving this. The sky is starting to break a bit now. So I could be tempted to hold out for a sunset. So it's low, there is too much cloud on the horizon, so I know whatever happens, if I go home, there'll be a great sunset. If I stop here, it'll just die and I'll just be wasting my time. So I think I will give it neck in a bit. But join me in a minute anyway, I'm going to have a little walk over and see what we can find, if anything. Well, I think I am done for tonight now. Um, I think I've got to hold out though because let me turn you around I don't know what time it is I'll check in a moment but there's a little bit of colour coming underneath the cloud so I th I'm so tempted to just hang out now to see if we're going to get a little bit of colour for the sunset we're not going to get a good sunset I don't think but we may just get a little bit of colour in the sky. The sky looks beautiful, beautiful texture in it. I don't know if you can see with the GoPro. 
it looks amazing very menacing back over that way very menacing there I think there's a big storm brewing there but where the Sun sets straight in front of us I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a little bit light up or not there is a break so we may just get a very very short-lived bit of color in the sky so I'm going to rush back over now I think to where I was originally with them purple flowers so I can try and line them up as a foreground and the poppies behind them and I'm just going to hang out and see if any colour does come I think it will, I think it will it's uh, it's looking pretty good at the moment so yeah what are you waiting for me? I'll drop this last little shot on. It's just a close-up of one of these purple flowers to have a look at. And I'm going to go and get set up roughly where I was earlier. And let's see if we can get a little bit of colour in the sky for the next shot. set up I've got this little clump let me just turn the camera around a bit there's a clump of purple these purple flowers in front just for a, a foreground I'm shooting at uh, f11 ISO 400 and that is giving me a 25th of a second which is a little bit slow but the wind is dying down as we speak I am hoping that I'll just try and turn the camera around into the Sun well say Sun what I wouldn't give for a bit of sun right now the sky is looking beautiful I can see more rain coming out the sky over there but I don't think there's a big enough break on the horizon to light it up the sky does look good though so the, the images look all right so I think I am going to head home and get a cup of tea what I wouldn't give for some light on these poppies now though oh absolutely beautiful be beautiful still we've got a month to try and catch something special so yeah it is just a little wrecky tonight I've come out and deep down I was hoping for a bit of a sunset but it hasn't occurred it's not going to occur so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it neck but I will catch this another time with light across the, the poppies orange light on red poppies oh beautiful just beautiful so yeah please check out the links below in the description there's links to social media and loads of other stuff um, subscribe give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and we'll do it all again next week um, where I don't know I have got a video still from Scotland of the little wee cottage in Glencoe Pass I might put that on next week uh, while I'm waiting for these poppies to come up um, unless I do get a good sunset here then the next video might be more poppies and another big sunset so yeah until next time take it easy I'll put the images on now for you again enjoy and I'll catch you on the next adventure and hopefully Betsy will be out with me as well as I say she's not well so she's been having a rough pretty much couple of months now so I'm trying to do as little as possible with her while she's not while she's not well but she seems to be picking up a little bit today so fingers crossed she's going to be okay until next time anyway enjoy the photos